Tiana Gustafson here with TianaGustafson.com and I'm in my beautiful studios in Atascadero, California and today I'm really excited to be standing up first of all. I got my big tripod out because I gotta stand up when I talk about marketing and today I'm going to give you some fast tips to the mindset behind great amazing marketing because let's face it you could be the best songwriter the best artist the best author the best um anything but if you don't master marketing and communicating with your ideal clients then you're going to be kind of a sitting duck and not making much money so let's talk about marketing from the perspective of giving value so my tip number one i'm going to give you three tips today so tip number one is you want to really do, I call it the golden rule of marketing, okay? And that is share with others what you enjoy yourself. So it's kind of like, you know, the golden rule is treat others as you want to be treated. So I believe when you're doing your marketing, whether it is blogging, social media, um, Facebook Live, that you want to share information, whether that's information you've come up with or you're just sharing a cool resource, that is something that you would love to be shared with. So it's the golden rule of marketing. So definitely write that down. And it's pretty simple, right? It's like, okay, cool. I'm going to share things that I love. I just did my Facebook boot camp last week. And, you know, people were asking me, like, how do you stay inspired? How do you find things to share? And I'm like, man, because I just consider myself a research artist, so to speak, or a little private investigator for myself and I share things that I find truly valuable and so that is what you want to do you want to start thinking about things that you find awesome and you're going to share that awesomeness with other people um, and there's a little uh, fix on that as well so let's go to point number two and that is this put it in your own words so it's the same thing. Pretend like you're a book reviewer. So you read this great book, and you're going to give a Cliff Notes version of that book. So when you're sharing information, you can also make things sound more original, even if you're feeling a little like your well is dry. But let's say today you'd listen to some self-development. Here's your a strategy. And so on your Facebook Live or on your Facebook stream or on your blog post, you're going to talk about how, hey, today I was reading The Science of Getting Rich, and the author mentioned this, and you quote the author. You definitely always want to give credit to where credit is due, right? We're going to be honest about this. But say, here's what I thought about that. And then you're going to ask for engagement, too. So if I was doing this, I'd be like, hey, what did you think about the science of getting rich? I really love when the author talks about um, always growing, how we should, if we're not growing, we're dying. That was really interesting to me. And here's some concepts I thought about because of it. So it's not like you're having to come up with all this incredible new content in the world, you guys. It is really just about putting your own unique spin on things. Okay, so let's review the two we've talked about, and then I'll give you the, my third tip for authentic marketing strategies. So number one is the golden rule. Share things, talk about things that you're interested in, and share those with your followers, and that's going to help build your following. Number two is that you want to also put a unique spin spin on the things you're sharing. So even if you're sharing a post like on Facebook, for example, and it says like share, you want to actually press write post above the share. You don't want to just share a video, especially if you're marketing yourself as a business person. You can share cool content, but you can say, hey, check out one minute into the video. It's my favorite part. Let's say you were sharing a video. Or you can say, hey, my favorite part is when this happens. And then your followers are now engaging with your original concept of what you're sharing. You guys get it? So it's really exciting to do it that way. And then number three is consistency. This is where you're going to lose a lot of people. And so if you're a consistent person, you can stand apart in the crowd. And this is why last week when we did the Facebook boot camp, and this goes for anything. This is for blogging. This is for weekly newsletters. And I will give you my strategies right now and also a free guide you can download in the comments where you can get my daily marketing strategies in under 30 minutes a day. So I'm going to share that with you in one minute. So point three is consistency. You need to be posting at least three times a day on social media, unique original content or shareable content. Number two is you need to be blogging every single week. SEO optimizing a blog. It should be a WordPress blog. And number three, you should be sending a newsletter at least once a week, if not twice a week, to get in the inbox of the people who've signed up on your list. If you do those things, you're going to be working your business far and above almost anybody else. 
And so I promise you those things work. They work. They sound so simple. It's really a list of three. But if you would like more specifics, I'm going to put my free link in the comments here. If you'd like to learn more about automating, collecting new leads and new sales, I have a couple free workshops coming up this week on Thursday. So let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think about the golden rule of marketing or putting your own unique spin and consistency? So those three, one more time, were one, the golden rule of marketing. Share with others what you also like to read and share and watch, okay? So it's the golden rule. Number two is you want to put your own unique spin though anytime you're sharing information. Let people know what you thought about that. And number three is consistency and making sure you're posting every single day. You're coming at it positive, no drama. Just remember one little thing about side note about drama is can you imagine if like McDonald's did a post like the owner or the CEO got on there and was like, oh my goodness, like today my mom totally like was late to pick up my kids from childcare or my aunt, like you guys listen, you're a professional, you're a business owner. So I don't really think I need to say that much to people who would follow me, but just to put that in there a little bit is it's all about positivity. You are a brand, you're on this to make money. If you want to just um, be on Facebook to hang out, have a separate account then. But if you're on and using Facebook and using social media, using your blog, your newsletter for business, you need to brand yourself as a business owner. So I hope that was helpful. I would love to hear what you think in the comments and I hope you have a wonderful day. So remember golden rule, put your spin on it, consistency, and check out my free guide to print out and put it right beside your desk for your daily marketing strategies. Bye. Tiana here with TianaGustafson.com.